This isn't just Scott. This is Madame Vivian V, one of New York City's fiercest, most fabulous performers. It takes a lot to go from drab to fab, and this is a world we know absolutely nothing about. But we're on a mission to live curious. Fashion. Amen, Brian. So this is a day in the fabulous life of a New York City drag queen. If I could have an ivy underneath my pad that has food and Red Bull, that would be excellent. Thank you. I think we are in for a very long and very interesting day. Have you ever met a drag queen before? No, no, never in my life. This is kind of exciting. We're on our way to the apartment of Scott, or Madame Vivian V. Hello. Hey. Hello. The New York City drag queen debuting her big show, Glitter Unicorn Sparkle Spectacular, tonight. Whoa. Wow, this place is awesome. There's cool stuff dangling from all corners. There's a rocking chair on the pipe. So how many people live here? There's four of us total, four gay Geminis. They live just down the street from House of Yes, the weird, wild, wonderful, performance fuel dance club in Brooklyn, where Madame Vivian is the resident door queen almost every night of the week. And this apartment is fit for a queen, or multiple queens. This is what we call the vanity room. This is where we all get ready. This is just some of the closets. What's this outfit for? A fembot outfit? Yeah. That's incredible. There's just glitter everywhere. It's a lifestyle. It's a lifestyle. Oh. But actually, we have to go. Okay. Um, because uh, I, as you see, there's three wigs. I need four for today. Yeah. Okay. So this is, this is what, this is the plan that I have. The first thing you gotta know about a day in the life of a drag queen is that it's very long. Madame Vivian is out till 5 a.m. most nights of the week and spends all day getting ready for it. But you'll see later why it's all worth it. There are gonna be six costume changes in tonight's wild show, and they all require a whole lot of stuff. And there's so much to do that we can only talk about it as we're moving. Exactly. So we are going to be biking around the city. 61st kids. Trying to get all the stuff that she needs. Costume, wigs, new shoes. The first stop is with Ava, the wig doctor. What are you deciding? I am uh, just have to pick out a wig to wear for my finale. Stay then it's makeup. This is a I love you. Bye. Bye guys. How are we doing on time? Oh, we're behind. Okay, follow the gold pants. Every single thing that you wear and do, like, you have to think about what you're doing, drag. You can't just slap something on. How are you doing, Alex? I'm literally dying. After biking 13 miles around the city, we're exhausted and two hours late to start makeup for tonight. Drag time is like being on time, but absolutely not. So it's time to make final preparations and pack up for the show. I grew up on a pig farm in Washington State. There's this theory that I wasn't born, I was just beamed, because I've always just been the different one from my family. Growing up on a farm, you learn how to use an imagination to entertain yourself. I would make my own costumes out of whatever was around. These, these are new hip pads that I made special for the show today. This is my old butt, my old hip, this is my new hip. Oh my god, way bigger! I know, size matters. He wasn't gonna be a pig farmer. So seven years ago, he drove through the night to New York City, and shortly thereafter, Madame Vivian was born. I see myself in drag with this like very pale face, sharp brows, red lips, smoky eye, and I felt this flurry of emotions. Like, I felt excitement, I felt ashamed, I felt exhilarated. It's like you're seeing yourself, but you're not seeing yourself. And I knew that it was something very special. Okay. Brian, Brian, have you ever worn heels before? Never in my life. Do you wanna? <laughs> We're spending a day in the life of a drag queen, okay, right? Okay. So, it's time no. for our walking lesson. This is the first. Gotta know what it takes to be fabulous. Oops. All right. Okay. There you go. Whoa. Oh my, oh my god. god. Hockey in heels is a skill, gentlemen. I have so much more appreciation for anyone in drag or any female I've ever met who's ever worn heels. Shoulders yes. straight. Yes. <laughs> we'll call you Spinster Green. Spinster Green. Nowhere Queen. Yes. <laughs> Amen, Brian. That's I mean, nowhere clean. Yes, please. <laughs> you know what? There's always room for improvement. It's 
5 p.m. and we're late even by drag time. It's gonna be a photo finish with rehearsal and, ma and makeup and everything, excuse me. Hi, so, hi, hi. This is Alongside all the other queens and performers in a tiny room backstage. Can I grab those tights from you, baby, when you have a chance? It's time to transform into Madame Vivian V. Makeup can take up to six full hours. Oh. But doors for the show open in one. Do you have any things going through your head? Get done. It's crazy back here. You can hear the crowd is filing in outside. Five minutes to circle up. It's 7.38. The show was uh, started eight minutes ago, technically. All right, we're starting. show that I've ever been a spectator of. I, this is intermission. I'm not going in there. This is intense. You just have to go, 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 and there's no time for me to breathe. Now that I'm finally seeing the show, I'm like, oh my god! This is incredible! This is what it is! It all is starting to make sense. The Glitter Unicorn Sparkle Spectacular was a major success. But for Madame Vivian, the night's not over. Yeah, I need to change this wig. I need to let this face dry. It's time to work the House of Yes door for the next seven hours. For hundreds of New Yorkers tonight, Madame Vivian will be the gateway to the wild world within, as she has been almost every night for over two years. <laughs> We're doing it. It's almost 5 a.m., and yeah, we could finally call it a night. It's a long night in heels and makeup, but Vivian will be doing this all again tomorrow. It's, it's really so much fun. It's really worth it to treat yourself to glamour or to treat yourself to a fantasy. When you're a drag queen, if you have a vision about how you would like to present yourself, you can create that whole thing and you can be exactly what you envision. This part of the day when everything's coming off and it's just you in the mirror, you've, you said that this is maybe your most self-reflective part of the day. At, at the beginning of the night you're spending an hour to you know three hours in my case trying to change who you are at your base and then you get to explore all of that at the end of the night when you're taking all of it off, you're just so eager to see yourself again. It helps you find the things in yourself that you really do appreciate, love, and enjoy. I guess like while I transform back from Madame Vivian V into Scott, that's one of my favorite parts because it's the purest me time. I'm rushing to see myself. It's past five in the morning. I'm ready to go to bed. Okay. Gentlemen, thank you. Yeah. Thank you. I am Madame Vivian V and I'm living my best life. Rally on! You know, my the camera keeps trying to autofocus on Kim K's face on your shirt. <laughs> <laughs> Why are you always trying to take my light, girl? <laughs>